one of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr. Sure. Pepe Julian Onzima. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for Good morning. Me. Morning to you. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. It was like I'm sitting here stressing in this relationship. What if all along, like, my soulmate is a man? Like, for mm. real, for real. Like, Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very interesting story, you know, and it came at a very interesting time because, you know, the algorithm does what the algorithm does. So I don't know if you guys remember or if you've seen it, but the other day on a Black Twitter episode, it was a TikTok of a stud saying that she would still date men. That was interesting to me, and it was crazy that after I posted that, days later, this girl pops into my news feed. So I watched several videos on the channel, and I wanted to unpack them with you guys. So this YouTuber's name is Beyonce E. Dot. Now, fellas, we're gonna have a little lighthearted fun, but at the same time, please be respectful in the conversation because she's giving us a good case study to get at, and she's coming from a very sincere place, all right? So let's get into it. Ex stud, now married to a man. I'm loving it. Studs who are being delivered by the Lord, what you're gonna have to understand is that you are gonna have this residue on you. The lesbian residue is what I'd like to give it, it uh, give it a name. All right, so the job that I'm at right now, the job that I've been working at ever since TD, walking into this job was when like, I really got that confirmation, like, okay. So it's, it's, it's not, like, I'm not crazy. Like, this, this is, yeah, this is, this is the thing. This is what's going on. At that job, I was able to share my testimony with one person. I was able to share my testimony with her and she was like blown away. She was like, you know, like to be honest, when you first came in here, like I thought you were gay. And I'm <laughs> like, yo, I started dying because I'm like, exactly. I knew I wasn't crazy. Like I know that there's this residue that's still on me. But like I, I had to like embrace that because even going through my deliverance, I'm like, you know, I had a coworker, you know, like, oh, like, you know, you give me that vibe, like, you know, so I wasn't sure, like, so I wanted to ask and, you know, I'm just like, man, like, and that's when at a point you are going to wish like, wow, like, why can't I just be viewed just as a regular girl? Like, you know, a regular girl, like maybe think of something else when it comes to mind. Like, you know, are you from around here? Like, why is, why does it always have to be like? Now she's, she's naturally beautiful. She's a beautiful woman, but you can tell she does have still like, you know, them, them vibes. So I get what you're saying. She still has the lesbian residue. I vibe. I see what you're talking about. Oh, are you gay? You know, but like embrace it because understand that the Lord is going to provide other opportunities for you. It is what it is. Like, I'm not going to sit here and like try and like prove myself to anybody that I'm delivered. I'm not gay no more. I am delivered. I don't like men no more. I said I like women. Women, 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 women. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's funny as shit. That's that anytime I hear about anybody talking about being delivered, that will always pop up in my mind. Though. I promise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're gonna have some fun over here with this one. We have fun on this channel. Everything ain't any we not all lemon booty around here. Everything asshole booty type. We're not doing all that. We have fun over here while unpacking shit and learning together. You feel me? Like it just, it is what it is. Like, people are gonna think what they're gonna think at the end of the day. Like, you can't please everybody. Like, me and my husband, like, we're a team. We have some things that we, you know, like to do that your average girl, I guess, um, maybe wouldn't like to do, you know? Maybe that wouldn't be like, you know, maybe not really their cup of tea, but, you know, it's like a, it's just a better, like, bonding experience. That's another thing that we talked about on the Black Twitter episode. My college roommate used to say similar stuff and sometimes he'd say he wishes he were gay because he just didn't want to deal with women. He's married now. He says his wife is a tomboy. His words, she acts like a bro but has a vagina. Best of both worlds. Homie, um, yeah, so this reminds me of this kind of same damn situation. Like, I'm thinking like, is this probably them. This is probably that couple. This is probably that same as that couple homie we talked about on Twitter. Hell no. Like that you're going to have with your husband that the Lord places you with because he's going to be handpicked. You know, the Lord is, he's already, he already has somebody for you. Like, and you're just, things are just going to be a breeze. People ask me all the time, like, oh, how is married, married life? I'm like, um regular like i don't know <laughs> you know i mean things really haven't changed other than now we can see each other naked like you know it, it's not really too much to it like in my opinion you know um 
being in my previous relationships, I knew that I'm not going to treat him the way that I was treated in my relationships. Mm. I know that I am not going to push him the way that I was pushed in my last relationships. There are things that I know that I am not going to do because I've been there. Just like if anybody has ever been cheated on, you know that you don't like that that feeling. You just yeah. will know like you're going to have just so much like just security and just joy just knowing that the love that you give out you are going to receive that back mm. when you know that somebody is for you you know and know that the lord brought y'all together like you're fine you know what's so fucking funny about that situation that a lot of times when women say that they want to date women instead they talk about the love that they receive as far as like being able to know for sure that they'll be received some reciprocated love that they normally don't get from men. But this girl in her situation being the male or the more masculine person in her relationships, she probably felt like she was giving so much out but wasn't receiving it back herself. So which one is it when you come down to bring it down? That's why you can't be too hung up and caught up on when it comes to the masculine or the, a man or women or men are this way or women are that way. It's really energies or people personally people personalities that you really got to look into because life is not black and white it's so much gray area so you know she even on her own can't say that that you know all experiences with men will be you'll receive that same type of reciprocity because it's not going to be that way but but her herself she probably ran into that a lot not being not being probably she probably simped it she probably simped for a lot of women in her past. And she probably like, man, I'm fed up with that shit. Let's keep listening. Another thing was looking at yourself differently. Going through my deliverance, I had my side shape because um, I was growing my hair back out. Thank God I was growing my hair back out again. And you are going to look back at your life and you're going to connect the dots like, wow, you work in mysterious ways and you are an amazing orchestrator. Like all day long, you're going to tell the Lord that because it's true. Looking at pictures or like me, um, me and my husband, before we got married, like when we used to take pictures, I'm like, I don't like it because I kept seeing the old person. I kept seeing Taewe and I just wasn't pleased with it because I'm like, I want to move on. You know, I want to leave that behind. I want to move on. Like I'm, I'm, I'm through with this. Like I'm, I'm over this. How am I going to be a, a, a girl? You know, like don't set like unrealistic beauty standards for yourself or you don't go by what like the media is saying like or in magazines like about what is feminine you know what's hot and this that and the third like no you know i felt like my voice is like too deep hmm. i want to sound more feminine and you know it's like it's crazy as much as you were wanting to be a boy in the past and you know maybe even you've had thoughts of like really even going through with getting top surgery or becoming a man mm. it's like the more now like the lord didn't just flipped it and turned it around to where you are just chasing and running towards and trying to really grasp like being feminine you know as much as possible like it really is crazy wow. running away from dresses to now running to them like you know wow. and this pandemic just you know damn hold up hold up hold up damn Got yeah, hips and all. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Hey, the husband looked up. I think in one of these videos, she said she never been with a man before. Husband got him some fresh, some fresh, some fresh. I don't know. I don't even want to disrespect him like that, but. Damn. The hips out there. Okay. 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 Kind of came through, and <laughs> I can't really wear anything other than t-shirts and sweatpants. Really, like, where, where, where am I going? Nowhere. And those of you out there who are being delivered, it's gonna be the same for you too. Like, you're just like, it's just gonna feel so natural and mm. just so like. I remember I seen a meme and I had showed my manager. And she, Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bring that back, bring that back gonna be the same for you too like you're just like it's just gonna feel so natural and just so like i remember i seen a meme and i had watch my soul may be a man and i'm over here on this gay shit <laughs> so my manager and she was also a stud and i had showed her the meme and it was like a picture of like Nicki minaj and it was like um it was like i'm sitting here stressing in this relationship what if all along like my soulmate is a man like for mm. real for real like we sitting here stressing there are so many studs out here keep in mind first off men make more money anyway we mm. sitting here now if you're doing things the legal way 
<laughs> Whoa, she just dropped a fucking bomb. After getting into her female nature, she's realizing, look, man, why the fuck am I even putting myself through this? You know, if you really got it like that, if you went to college and stuff like that, listen, I didn't. And a lot of people that, um, that I used to hang with in the LGBT community, they didn't either. So, I mean, there's a lot of, there's, there's, there's a lot of hardworking women out there, a lot of hardworking studs out there. And it's like, man, like just breaking your backs and stressing about a <laughs> whole lot. Them. And, you know, some, some women may even already have children. So it's like, it's a lot, it's a lot that comes along with that. And it's like, wow, like if you, if we just let go and let God just take the will and take control, like you don't have to worry about God wants to help me on you. That. Like this, I haven't been in too many relationships, but I can say like this, I've never really stressed about money, anything financial. I, the trust is there. Not saying that I had trust issues with any other relationship. Stop right there. Stop right there. We got to unpack that right there. So basically her being a stud, being a more masculine one in a relationship, I'm pretty sure she took on a lot of financial burden that a man would normally have. Now, with her saying that, realizing that men make more money, men take more riskier jobs. We all, we, especially if you're in this space, um, the information is out there. Men average more money, just a normal average male versus the average female. Men make more money. So, just her on that part, as far as survival wise, hypergamy. I'm dating up to this man being able to take care of me. Why would I put all this financial burden on me just for this extra pleasure or this extra temptation when I could just be like, nah, I'm good. These other things are important too in life. And she low-key telling studs like, listen, y'all out here going through that shit with these women, taking care of these chicks, even dating single mothers yourself. Oh, you probably are a single mother. Fuck that. It's men out here that will help you. Why are we putting ourselves through this? <laughs> That's what I took from that situation. I may be wrong. Beyonce, Beyonce, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. I'm, I'm pretty sure you may watch this video. Like I told you, we having some lighthearted fun over here. Unpacking this situation, unpacking this video. Thank you so much. Let's keep listening. But like, everything just works very, very smoothly. If you're sitting here breaking your backs, trying to, you know, keep everything together, it's not the Lord's will. It's not. <laughs> it ain't the Lord's will. <laughs> Beyonce, you low key a city girl. You low key a city girl. She like, man, we out here trying to be with these women and give all our money, get his money up for these chicks. Fuck that. I'm gonna go ahead and get his money myself. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm gonna participate. I'm finna participate in this shit, nigga. Fuck that. And they like, <clears throat> that's why I be saying all the time. I can't blame any women that's gonna take advantage of. Being able to play their role as women as far as being able to be taken care of. I can't blame a woman for wanting that. No, that hypergamy is a thing. It's a thing. So get your funds up, my brothers. Get your funds up. Me, myself, I'm getting my funds up too at the same damn time so I can make sure my woman is secure and she could always feel like, man, I, why the fuck would I even want anything other than knowing that I'm safe, I'm secure over here in this relationship. I know we try to fight this all the time, but women say all the time, knowing that they have a man that's able to protect and provide, that makes them be able to easier be in their feminine energy even when it comes to simply being poor and having to live in the hood it's no way you completely can be in your feminine energy because you always got to be on fucking guard i remember being with my girl the other day i live in the hood my girl does not i remember being with her the other day going to the bank over the other day and she being so damn jumpy because she from the hood but she's like we at a bank in the hood. So she was just like, antennas rising, antennas rising. And my girl got that fire too. She told that fire. So if it, if it came down to it, she'll let that be blow. I'm just trying to let you know. If it came down to it, she'll let that be blow. So don't ever try me because my girl got me. You feel me? My girl like India. You know, Dirk in India, like how India was shooting in the crib when they tried to invade the crib. My girl is like that. She'll let that be blow. You feel me? We from Carroll City. We don't fuck off around here. But you disarm that when you are in a better financial status and you don't have to be in certain situations that women have to overcompensate just to survive. I know you try to fight that fact so much, but it is fact. You can fight it all you want to, but it's, that's their nature. That's their nature. The true thing is understanding women's nature. And knowing your opponent, if you want to look at it that way, but we, we some sports nigga, we know sports. You know about, we know about studying film and all that shit like that. We're men. Knowing your opponent and studying them and knowing 
how to come out on top in whatever engagement that we have. You could be mad all you want to at ladies' nature. You could be pissed the fuck off. But if you want to deal with them, you're going to have to understand it. Play ball. You, you work and you grind for X, Y, and Z. But when it comes down to, man, like trying to hold up like like cartoon like character, trying to hold up like glasses on like each, like you got your glasses like stacked up on like your hands and then on your feet, you know, or even <laughs> on your knees, whatever. Um, you know, and you're like wiggling and then one falls off and you try to grab it. You know, it, it's like if you're juggling like that and you know like things like really are leading in the wrong direction you just keep trying you really really keep trying and trying to put your all into it mm. and it's like you feel like you just cannot catch a break mm. and even when you do catch a break it's very very short like it's not the lord's will for your life beyonce is a new youtuber so she kind of like getting used to the edits and stuff like that she's showing an altercation between her and an ex-girlfriend so this is another interesting thing to unpack her dealing with women herself made her low key like, hmm, <laughs> I don't do this shit no more. I don't know. Maybe may, it may not just be dealing with women, but she had bad experiences with dating women herself. The same experiences that me and you have had before. She's had them shits, so she's able to 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 connect with her husband in ways that you can't fucking imagine. Trust me, like it's it's not it's not the Lord's will. You got a crazy you know, ass that person may be in your life for a different Damn. reason, not the reason why <laughs> they're. And the crazy thing about it, she was pretty the whole damn time. She was a, she's a very pretty woman. You you know are, are having having them in your life right now. Like it, it may not be for a relationship. It may not be for a marriage. It may not be. For X, Y, and Z. And, you know, I'm not sure if you are watching my videos out there, Punctual you know, ads. but I mean, I don't mean to always kind of bring our last relationship, um, well, yeah, up, you know, but I can't really talk about my testimony if I don't bring you up. If yeah. I don't bring up our last relationship, my last relationship with. I go through the same thing. Even I go through the same thing um, on my videos. I, I reference relationships a lot on my videos and i don't i try not to reference it too much because i am in a new happy relationship with someone that i do want to marry so sometimes i go through the same thing as far as like i'm trying to give you guys stories and talk about certain things and and i don't want to like continue bring other people up but you have to it part it's a part of being transparent and when you are a creator or creative because um, YouTube is different. You know, when you make a movie, you could just say, you could just write a movie and th throw different names on there. But YouTube is like reality TV and, and as such. So you have to sometimes, if you, you, make, if you make content like myself, you um get y'all some of these, man. Niggas get y'all some of these. Clip, clip your fingernails and shit. But um, you have to be able to share your story and be transparent so people believe you they take you seriously i i try to be as transparent as possible to the point that i get thumbs down on my videos all the time because i'm so damn transparent so i understand what she's talking about people don't like what i say but i i have to say it i have to say it to be real myself because i don't ever want anybody ever to come back and say oh you you phony you fake i don't want that so i, I i'm transparent to, to a fault at times with a female up um because it was and my lady hated she hated she hated that shit. talk about my testimony if i don't bring you up if i don't bring up our last relationship my last relationship mm -hmm. with a female up um because it was such a major piece a major 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 piece that's like trying to bring up my testimony and leaving out what i experienced down in georgia it's just not possible a major piece so that relationship with that chick that little shit with that chick really affected her. So, so this is a tough situation as far as transitioning from being with so many women. And she's an attractive woman, so I'm pretty sure she was able to get her picking a little with some baddies. It be some badass chicks that be lesbian, bisexual. It be some baddies, you feel me? And that threshold of giving it up to other women is way lower than what it is to being, being with men. Man. So I'm pretty sure she's had her share. So she talked about any possible struggles that she's had let's get to it it was a lot of mixed emotions going on it was fear it was curiosity as well on the other hand it was insecurities that i was dealing with as well you know like oh well do i look attractive this way you know now that i am fem feminine you know like 
that I looked more attractive when I was masculine and stuff like that, you know, being insecure about my body. And what also was a thing that I was going through was the simple fact that, okay, so now I'm delivered. So now it's like going inside the corner store and you're scrolling through the candy aisle. So now <laughs> it's like, it's not, it was never any temptation when it came down to um, females. <clears throat> it was, now it was like, oh, like my eyes are like lit up, you know, like, oh, <laughs> I can see now, you know, so. So you guys didn't understand what she was saying. Once she became delivered, her main temptation wasn't women. It was the smorgasbord of men that she possibly could date. And the, tar the, and the hard part was her deliverance came via religion. Christianity, I'm assuming. So her being able to her opening her eyes up to men and being like whoa there's so many good men that she want to date it messed with her because she had to be faithful to one man you feel me that's an interesting story beyonce if you if, if i'm right or if i'm wrong let me know in the comment section below go to her channel she's gonna be tagged go to her channel to check out some more content if you are interested in more content on her channel i just wanted to bring this to you guys to start a conversation and it was so damn like an algorithm god's work in my favor because we were just talking about this on an episode of black twitter so that's fucking crazy bro i'm gonna leave the episode up here um let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. They like some brick. They're my homies. They always comment and stuff like that. They date women, so I know they always be told them when we talk about things like this. So let me know. Stay like some brick. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below about this situation right here. I'm going to sign out your boy Stacy, and I fuck with you. Why? Because <laughs> you fuck with me. I'm lit right now. Hey, I'm out.